Hey everybody, Mike Lieberman, Dr. Charles Lieberman, Chief Investment Officer. Yes, we are related. Uh, back with the 10 second interview show. It's been a minute since we've filmed the show and truth is there wasn't really that much that we thought was all that exciting to talk about. But now we are back uh, because politics and markets are exciting. So let's go over the rules, Chuck, real quickly. Five questions. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. Why 10 seconds? Because uh, nobody's got the attention span. It's a TikTok world and we are a couple of TikTok dudes. <laughs> dudes is right. All right. So, Chuck, let's get into it. Bridget, throw the clock up on the screen. Chuck, you got 10 seconds. Uh, it appears, right, all the polls now have Donald Trump ahead, the majority of, of polls that, that are relevant. Um, right after the assassination attempt this weekend, the Republican National Convention going on right now, uh, let's just assume, right, momentum is carries through and there is a Trump presidency. 2.0, right, 10 seconds or less. What sectors benefit in Trump 2.0? go uh, energy because uh, a lot of the uh, restraints will be lifted uh banks uh basel three will probably get tossed and certainly fewer restrictions on the banks um health uh probably benefits some of the health care companies like the uh, uh the insurance companies but less so the doctors and and the pharmaceutical companies uh and of course uh m a Damn it. All right, good. That was like a 25 second answer, but good. OK, so let's flip it in 10 seconds or less. Same conversation, just the opposite side. What sectors get hurt, right? What sectors get hurt if uh, Trump wins? Go. Well, for, for sure, uh, anything, uh, anyone importing from China, that's a big uh, weakness. And of course, uh, some of the very largest tech companies, because uh, J.D. Vance is not a fan of them. Obviously, J.D. Vance, the, the vice presidential nominee. OK, uh, let's move over to Biden for a second. Uh, let's say Biden pulls it out. Are we looking at more of the same? Yeah, for the most part, that's right. Um, China, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, the banks, uh, energy. So, yes. All right. So now let's move forward, though. Both candidates, Trump and Biden, have proven through their administrations that they love to spend money. Right. Both sides have run the deficit up incredibly. Um, so let's just assume one way or the other that carries through regardless of who is president next. Uh, now, the Fed, right, is talking about cutting rates. But can you really cut rates knowing that the next president is going to spend a lot of money no matter what? And that's inflationary. So I know that's not the Fed's mandate, right? Low unemployment, low inflation, current inflation. They've got that moving in their, their direction. They have unemployment low. Uh, does the Fed need to be proactive? Will they be proactive here and not cut rates? Or do you think they cut rates regardless? Go. Uh, they will cut rates because Biden, is, uh, Biden Powell has said that uh, he's not going to wait until we get to 2% inflation. So I think they will cut. But at the same time, they're not going to cut aggressively. That buys them time. If uh, a lot of spending gets kicked in, uh, you can bet that uh, the Fed will not cut that many times, not as much as the market expects. All right, so let's go full circle here. Assuming a Trump presidency, uh, Powell, in the words of The Apprentice, you're fired. True or false? Take it home. True. True. Powell's done. With a, pre a Trump presidency, Powell's done. Yep. Okay. Uh, with that, right, hopefully we continue to give you our thought process on what we think is going on in the world, what we think is relevant to markets in all time record speed. Like and subscribe below. The more Lieber Maniacs, the better. We love you. Thank you, everybody.